Welcome friends, the Deaf Racers are back. If you were giving anyone any advice on building one of these, what would it be? Go nuts. <laughs> Just go nuts. Don't let rules stop you. Just go all out. Be, be weird. Stay weird. That's right. Thank you again. Right, thank you. So the races are going to be back exactly where it all began at the Midwest Rep Rep Festival in Goshen, Indiana on June 24th and 25th. Details about the event can be found online and I will link those in the description. Also, over on Facebook.com, you can find all the information that you're going to need about attending this particular event. So very similarly to last year, we're going to basically tell you what the times are for the races. And that's going to be on the day at the event. So we're going to be racing on the Saturday and we're going to be racing on the Sunday. There's two races planned for the Saturday and one race planned for the Sunday. Now, if you visit our booth, and that's going to be with John from Tripods Garage, and also Jim from the Edge of Tech. There will be a sign on the front which will basically tell you the times for the racing. Next, I'd like to introduce our esteemed sponsors who play a crucial role in making these series of races truly extraordinary. To begin, I would like to introduce our long-term sponsor, Polymaker. Their support has been invaluable as providing racers with the essential filament needed for their success. Without Polymaker's contribution, the races wouldn't be as remarkable as they are today. Now, for this particular event, Polymaker have an exciting offer for you. They've generously provided a $150 race voucher that can be used by anyone attending the event with a new racer constructed with Polymaker filament. So that's $150 for you turning up with a racer at that particular event. To avail this voucher, simply visit their booth during the event. And furthermore, Polymaker are also giving away three impressive $300 vouchers to the overall race winners at Murph. This means, of course, that the winners will receive a substantial amount of filament, which is undeniably an exciting reward. Thanks, of course, to the support and contributions from Polymaker, we can ensure that the racers have access to high quality materials and ultimately create an unforgettable experience for anyone involved with the races. So next up is Fabrica. We literally just met them last year. Hector and his team down there are doing a fabulous job with Ratrig and Voron printers, of course. Fabrico are the ultimate destination for 3D printing enthusiasts, providing the curated selection of top quality parts for printers, exclusively tailing support to empower the vibrant community. So make sure you join Fabrico and explore the world of endless possibilities. Um, there's more to come from those guys. We're still talking things through at the moment, but they are going to be a key sponsor to the races. So thank you very much to Fabrico. So next up is PCBWay.com. I wanted to work with a sponsor that has already done so much for the channel. They sponsor pretty much every video that I've done for the past six months, which has really enabled me as a creator. I want to do so much more with them as well, and it's an absolute honor to be welcoming PCBWay.com to the races. Obviously, they offer the best PCB manufacturing, and they do so much more with CNC, 3D printing, and the list goes on and on and on. So make sure you check out PCBWay.com. So the big news is that Big Tree Tech and BQR are going to be representing at Murph this year, which is super excited. And for the main death race, they've offered us a Hurricane 3D printer, which is absolutely awesome. And for second place, a Pad 7, the H2 V2S. Third place is a Big Tree Tech Pi and HDMI 5 display as well. So thank you very much, Big Tree Tech. So finally, on the sponsor front, long term friends of mine, Slice Engineering. I love what these guys do, and I've worked with them for several years now and had some really great times. Again, Slice are one of those companies that set standards and create incredibly great technologies that make the world of 3D printing a better place. Again, early doors with them at the moment, but I'm sure they're going to have some amazing prizes to give away so thank you slice engineering so thank you again to our sponsors there's going to be more information on what the prizes are going to be and what those companies are really doing in regards to the death racer event um, more news coming out on that very very shortly but that's not all of course last week i did put out this image and this is the Grave Digger. It's also now been nicknamed the Kill Dozer. Uh, it's going to be a new modification for Murph, Earth, and Smurf. And those are the next three events that we're going to be doing. And then I think the idea is then to curve on to Remurf next year in the Rocky Mountains because it's an event that I missed, unfortunately, this year. That being the case, though, those files for the Kill Dozer or uh, Grave Digger or whatever you want to call it should now be available on the Michael Badley Patreon. And again, like always, all the information can be found below. So these are the Killdozer 
or Gravedigger parts that, again, are going to be available right now on the Michael Badley Patreon page. You have got the digger part. You've got two lifters here. One, of course, does connect to a servo, and you should be able to use a 25 kilo servo, very, very similar to the boom. Uh, the front has been modified, of course. It kind of has this sort of tractor-esque kind of look about it but basically if you've already got a def racer and you've used the badly files already you can basically just take the front off and add to this adaption on and again you've got a second weapon there and 25 kilos should be should be enough to flip up any racer uh, the other thing to consider of course is the back and the weightiness of the back because obviously if you're lifting from the front here uh, it's going to sort of put pressure on the back there and it may end up flipping you forward the other thing to consider of course is if the bucket is up it may lead into a level of protection um, so you know chances are you might have a good time with this and i certainly hope that uh, we're going to see a number of these at the races of course modify them as you see fit i want to see some crazy races at these events so hopefully guys that should be available on the michael badley patreon again and let me know how you get on so super exciting times are ahead. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again to our sponsors. Make sure again that you like and subscribe to this channel because there's going to be more information coming out on the Death Racers and I don't want you to miss that. Also, don't forget we have got a Facebook group which is Death Racers and we've also got a Discord channel which is based off of the Polymaker channel which again is called Death Racers. So if you need any help and advice, make sure you check out those channels. Information again is down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you out there. Take care guys. Bye for now. Thank <laughs>